hot in Australia. It's hot. Okay, hello. So, diving the Great Barrier Reef is kind of a bucket list item for us. It's something we've always wanted to do our whole lives. A lot of people are just like, I want to go see the Great Barrier Reef. Why wouldn't you? It's like one of the wonders of the world, right? So, we chose cans. Oh, well, by the way, first off, diving the Great Barrier Reef is pretty cool. A lot of amazing water, amazing sea life, amazing coral. We do recommend that. Anyway, so we chose Cairns as our jump off point because it was the most convenient for us. It's the biggest port city for this adventure. And we had other things planned from Cairns, like playing in the rainforest and doing this food and wine tour. So that's why we chose that city. A lot of people do. However, we heard that there are some very charming cities up on the coast that are alternatives that you can also use as your jump off point to go dive the Great Barrier Reef. And we thought, let's go investigate these other cities. where you stay on the coast to go out and see the Great Barrier Reef. The drive, if you want to go check out the other towns, is absolutely gorgeous. You get these nice overlooks of the beach and the jungle and the ocean and it's just very pretty. This is Alexandria Lookout. You can tell it's a lookout by the way that it is. Just look at it. There's different routes you can take to get from like Cairns to um, Palm Cove or wherever you're going, but you want to select the scenic route if you have time on your drive. The Port Douglas Marina, in my opinion, is very ritzy and very nice. So there's some restaurants right on the water. Uh, Hemingway's, which we know it from Cairns, because there's one in Cairns as well. They, it's a brewery, they make their own stuff, also make their own gin. They have pretty decent food, and you can sit here and watch all these really nice, expensive boats come in and out. And then there's some other restaurants, some shops, there's markets on Wednesdays. But anyway, the point is, at this marina, this is where you'll be jumping off to go dive the Great Barrier Reef. But if you're doing other things, and you're not just diving the Great Barrier Reef, you'll probably be launching out of here to do the snorkeling, there's fishing. If you just come to visit Port Douglas and you're not doing anything out of this marina, you should come over here anyway just to check it out because it's a really nice area. Did you know that Sydney, in the year 2000, when they hosted the Olympics, they had the Olympic torch transported underwater for the first time in history? I don't know if you care, but that torch is at the Port Douglas marina if you want to see it. I think that's pretty neat. The main drag on Port Douglas is actually really nice. A lot of Nice shopping. Maggie went crazy over a little flip-flop store. There's some really cool restaurants that are all unique and have their own theme. Like this one over here is Iron Iron Bar, the Iron Bar. Anyway, it's all rusty. It's just everything is designed very intentionally, and I like that. It's a very nice street that you can walk up and down. And we went and had a burger, and it was good. So Port Douglas has Four Mile Beach, which is a well-known beach in the area. Right now, you're probably thinking, well, it's not that pretty. I mean, it's pretty. There's a lot of seaweed up because there's been a storm recently. I imagine most of the time it's like a very pristine beach. Actually, we were here just days ago and it was pristine, so the storm came through. Also, slip, slop, and slap. The beach report said, remember to slip, slop, and slap. You know, Australians speak English, but do they really? Because I don't really know what that means. I think it has something to do with sunscreen, but I can't be sure. Uh, the swimming area is marked off. Palm Cove has a sectioned off swimming area as well. They have a, basically a square buoy with a net because there's a lot of jellyfish in the summer and you don't want to get stung. Also, there's, you know, saltwater crocodiles. I don't think they would grab anyone out of that area anyway. But anyway, Four Mile Beach, very pretty, four miles long, not four kilometer beach, and it's part of Port Douglas. So Port Douglas does have some very nice green spaces if you're a nature lover and you want to be around some green plants and stuff. One park has some nice outlooks and a tiny little hiking area and then there's the smallest lighthouse I've ever seen. In fact, we had trouble finding it because normally you're like, let's go to the lighthouse and you look around and be like, oh, apparently, there it is in the distance. Apparently there's a lighthouse in Port Douglas and I never saw it. And we're like, where the heck is this lighthouse? Well, that's because it's a whole like two stories tall. The main attraction of Cairns is the Esplanade. I think that's kind of the social center of the town. It's really just the harbor and then flanked on the other side of the Esplanade, which is a green space with lots of fitness and running and just 
trees and there's bats and crazy birds. Uh, there's some high-rise hotels, so much larger hotels, much more accommodations here than Port Douglas or Palm Cove, but that's again because it's a bigger city. And that's what I like about Kansas, you can get pretty much anything you need here because it is a big, legitimate, full-up city. If you're gonna stay in Cairns for your water activities, the Great Barrier Reef stuff, you should stay near the Esplanade. There's a lot more nightlife here, a lot more energy here in Cairns. So the Esplanade starts with this lagoon, which is like a swimming pool, sand that dumps into the pool completely public and completely free and completely crowded most of the time, but it's actually really nice. This is the Cannes Marina. Suffice to say, it is huge. It's massive, much larger than the marina at Port Douglas. Um, any kind of adventure you wanna have on the water, you can do it from here, from Cannes. You can do a jet ski crocodile tour. You can do sailing lessons. You can rent a pontoon. You can be on a giant catamaran boat. You can do snorkeling. You can do scuba diving. You can eat on a boat, like on the boat. They'll cook the food right there, or you can take it away. I really like the idea of eating food on a boat that's docked at a marina. It's such a charming little, like experience. Just anything and everything. Oh, even those little jet boats that like go really fast and turn really hard and you wear a harness and you hurt your neck and but you can't sue them because you signed a waiver. They have those too if you want to do that. Any adventure on the water, in the water, you can do from this marina in Cairns, which makes it one of the largest, most popular jump off points to do water activities, obviously. If you're a nature lover and you like gardens, Cairns does have some pretty nice botanical gardens. We just pulled up like, oh, let's check it out. And as soon as we walked in, we found this conservatory and there's all these little butterflies flying around and we haven't even begun to even scratch the surface of the rest of these botanical gardens. I'm sure there's amazing stuff here and it's finally started to cool down. So uh, we think we're gonna walk around and see it. Considering that we were driving up the coast to check out the alternatives to Cannes for Great Barrier Reef diving, we thought, well, hey, since we're on the coast, let's go ahead and push all the way north to Cape Tribulation. It's not like a big town. It's not a jump off point for the Great Barrier Reef by any means, but if you're in these small towns on the coast, you can just push up north a little bit farther and go check it out. The Daintree Rainforest is there, but it's very remote. Like you have to take a ferry across a river to even see anything, but there's some nice boardwalks and the beaches are very, very nice. This is Cape Tribulation Beach, the farthest, northest, northest most point we're gonna visit today, essentially. Um, beaches in Australia, there's a reason there's not people in this water. If you see a beach with a little squared off, roped off, netted off area, there will be people in there. Otherwise, there's lots of signs that say, do not swim. I mean, you can swim, it's not illegal, but they don't recommend swimming because there's lots of box jellyfish, there's a sign, there's even a vinegar station so you can spray yourself down with vinegar. Do not rub, by the way. And it also warns you that there are crocodiles that if you encounter one will result in injury or death. I mean, I don't think it's gonna result in a back massage, obviously, it's a crocodile. So, beautiful, serene beaches, not a lot of action in the water to be had. Where are we? We're in the rainforest. <laughs> what are you doing? Dancing <laughs> so the bugs don't bite. There's a lot of mosquitoes in the rainforest and the best way to keep them from biting you is to just keep dancing because they Guys, can, I need to see all of your dancing. dance moves. You can't bite a man that's dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I need to see your dance moves. But in all seriousness, we're at the <laughs> oh. The Dubuji <laughs> Boardwalk. Dubuji Boardwalk. We're gonna go on this boardwalk. Go uh, still up near Cape Tribulation. This is the beach right off of the Dabuji boardwalk and you should come check it out. Just like the other beach, like uh, Cape Tribulation Beach, no swimming, it's just dangerous. Saltwater crocodiles, they will get you. You don't want to get got, so don't go swimming. So this is Palm Cove, another place that you can jump off to go see the Great Barrier Reef. It's a really nice, charming town, kind of small. I equate it to a little place called 38 in Florida where we live near. Boutique hotels, restaurants, cafes. You can, there's a swimming area, there's kayak rentals. Um, just kind of a very family-friendly, nice place. And a bit smaller than Cannes, 
or Port Douglas. Thanks for watching my video about the cities that you can dive from in Australia for the Great Barrier Reef. After this, we're gonna continue on the coast of Australia and you should keep watching our channel. Okay, bye.